Aaron, nobody asked. I'm not going to San Francisco. Okay, <laughs> Aaron, you got any news? I'm not going to San Francisco. Just so you know, who cares? I'm not going to San Francisco, Ben. <laughs> Dude, no one, wa- no one from San Francisco <laughs> wants you in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. All they've seen is you pull up there in the playoffs San- like a dog for five years. Bat and I. Welcome back to Tipsy Tailgate Media, the Tipsy Tailgate Podcast. I am Aiden. Me, I'm Ben. Sal. And uh, we're back with another episode. Uh, we're excited. I'm not as excited as everyone else because, of course, Tom Brady retired. My guy. Tommy wah, wah, wah. I don't want to hear it, all right? He he did so much for me my life. Like he did. I wish I could see him one day and I could just give him a hug. Tell him, tell him, Tom, you did everything for me. I would not hug Tom. Just show him, show him the same love that he always shows his kids. Of course. Oh, <laughs> never a question, never a doubt. I would never want Tom Brady to touch me. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Uh, okay, so let's we're, we're gonna touch on that in a second. But he's a freak. Let's start Great football here. Player. Let's start here with obviously the big news. Super Bowl is set. Okay. Um. And a lot of stuff has been coming out where everyone all of a sudden forgot what Tom Brady did in his career, or for that matter, even Tom Brady, or um, even Peyton Manning, or John Elway, Joe, uh, Montana, Joe Montana, Dan Marino, Dan Marino um, all these guys. So even so, Rodgers, I hate Rodgers, but like, yeah, like it's like they're ignoring that Aaron Rodgers doesn't exist. Yeah, I mean, so Super Bowl set, Chiefs Eagles, as your boy predicted, and uh, follow us at Tipsy Telegate Media. Um, for the video that we made about that, it's doing pretty well on TikTok. But so basically, everyone is all over Mahomes. Oh my God, he's winning like this. He's doing this, and I have a little bit of a rant. All right, because I'm defending my boy Tom. He did his petty shit once again, and he knew once the chatter was coming up. Oh, Mahomes is this. Mahomes is that. Boom, he retired. retired. <laughs> you, you know, yeah, of course. Right before the Super Bowl too. So. <laughs> Let me just get so to petty. my argument right It here. was so petty. <laughs> so petty. He's the petty king. He's the petty king. He's pettier than LeBron. <laughs> no, yeah, 100%. I love it, though. I'm cool with it. Um, so look, we're going to get into this quick little rant why Brady is light years ahead of Mahomes. And it's not even a discussion at this point. Okay? Ready. So Mahomes has been – and you could you can go whenever. Um, Mahomes has been inserted into the perfect position. All right? He has came to the league with Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, two of the best weapons probably in the league, two of the top five guys at least um, for all of his time there. Then the he came into maybe the best offensive mind in league history, if not top three. He's um, up there. Andy Reid with all he's done, especially he's in Philadelphia there. as well. Then the only adversity Mahomes has ever faced so far in his career is losing Tyree Kill, which won. It was okay. It was it was extraordinary to even have him in the first place. So in all fairness, the year that Mahomes won his Super Bowl, his leg like went in half, and he came back two weeks later. Do you remember that? Like his uh, and then of his course, knee popped out of its socket. Of course, and there's stuff now. I I get it. He's fighting through injury. I'm saying in terms of roster wise, um, yes. Anything in terms of that? Yes. You lost Tyreek. Okay, having Tyreek in general was a lot to start with. With mm-hmm. with Travis Kelsey. Yep. Then he. Came into a true passing league, pass first league, where the rules protect quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. And I'm not throwing this argument out too much because, of course, Brady's still played in this. Right, league. he did benefit but, from it, but he did win three Super Bowls when it wasn't that way. Yes, and he also Mahomes came into the league when passing was the main factor of right. scoring, the main point of basically the mm-hmm. game. Which that's why the stats are that high. Like mm-hmm. it's not that hard to notice when Brady had, statistically his best year-by-year stats, passes, attempts, completions, whatever it is, they were all in his 40s when... The Outside of 07, they were all post-38 yeah. years old. Exactly. So then, um, Kelsey has never missed significant time. No. He's been insanely healthy. Gronk uh, missed a lot of games. Gronk, yes, exactly. And we'll get into, uh, maybe maybe in the next pod, Gronk-Kelsey again, because I want to retouch on that. We talked about it last time. But um, he also he lost to a 43-year-old Brady... In the Super Bowl. Yes. So and 
in 2018 in the AFC Championship game in yeah. Arrowhead. Yes. So let's pump the brakes. He, and I then, believe he's one and three against Tom. Yes, maybe I, I believe maybe so. two and three because he beat them. Maybe, yeah. the year that they won Fuck. the Super Bowl in Tampa. So yes. he might be two and three. Um, and then what's the best defense Mahomes has played? Can you remind me? What is it? This year's 49. Did he play the 49ers this year? Who, who did he play? Best defense he's ever played might be the Niners in the Super Bowl or Tampa in the Super Bowl. Okay. Do those even compare to the Legion of Boom? No. No. Do those even compare to the Ed Ed uh, Ed Reed and Ray Lewis Ravens? No. No. They don't compare so, to the 2015 Broncos either. Yeah, definitely not. Um, so that's another thing. And then the last thing I want to throw out. Or, geez. or not to cut you off, Go or on. the 2010 Jets. Yeah. It, for honestly, they were probably I'd probably put them at the same stature of any team that the Chief t- Chiefs has played. Appreciate that, Ben. Um, Got to give them a shout out. That was a great team. And then, but I'm not done. The Couldn't Chiefs, stop a nosebleed. <laughs> the Chiefs second in sacks this year and QB pressures. So he has had help. Don't give me this. He's carrying the team. His defense has been creating pressures at an insane rate. I don't know. If, I don't know if Brady ever had a defense that was top three or top five in pass rush. Have we? Did we maybe in the the early run? Okay. But like, I'm, that it, that's, the that's the worst <laughs> point you've made. that's the worst point you've made. Now now onto my now onto my Brady now, onto my Brady stuff. So everyone's giving me this Mahomes high ankle sprain. It's great. I'm not taking anything away right. from it. Brady also played played and won the conference championship against Jacksonville, a better defense where than his any, thumb literally like where his thumb came was out of his split hand. or out of his hand. We don't know. Um. His early years was run and defense heavy. So, yes. of course, statistically, he's going to be lower. Um, don't give me this Mahomes is winning more early because Mahomes is 27 and he has one Super Bowl and three appearances and Brady won by, three, su- by three Super Bowls three in four Super years. Yeah. So, don't give me that. Um, <laughs> don't, 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 give me that. <laughs> don't give me that. Don't give me that. Who's, <laughs> who's the best quarterback that Mahomes has had to go against besides Brady? Like head to head to head, like what is it? It's Mahomes, Allen, Mahomes, Burrow. Probably Burrow. Are Burrow or Allen gonna finish better or near Manning? No. Okay. No. So Brady had to go through Manning. Okay. Yeah. Another thing, um, he has more Super. This is all you need to know. He has more Super Bowls than any franchise in history. He had a 500-yard passing game in the Super Bowl against the Eagles when he had Randy Moss for what two years, a little bit more than that, two and a I half believe years, three and a half years, three and a half years. He set records. Yes. Okay. Belichick is a defensive coach, albeit unbelievable. He's a defensive-minded coach. Andy Reid is an offensive-minded coach. Okay. So well, coming in, coming into, coming into the league, obviously you're going to get more help from an offensive-minded coach when you're a quarterback. But I mean, great OCs. Still, you have Charlie Weiss. Yeah, of course. Running the Patriots offense at that point, and Bill Belichick's the greatest coach of all time, and that's the best defense outside of the Giants' defense that Bill would coach with Lawrence Taylor. Those like the early all one to oh four yeah. was the best defense the Patriots have ever had. Easily. So I'll disagree with that point about coming but into. I I know Andy you read. I would. I understand your point. I would give Brady's situation walking into the league. Slightly the upper hand. Of of course. I mean, you just of course. But I'm saying as a quarterback, if you came in as a quarterback, wouldn't you rather one of the greatest offensive minded coaches than a defensive minded coach? It's it's one of those things where I obviously mean, it's Belichick, so it's hard to argue not, against. But it's not just a great. It's, it's not like Belichick. it's Pete Carroll. It's yeah, Bill Belichick. Exactly. It's so that. I under obviously I understand. Coach. Um, and then just this is the last point here: three Hall of Fame careers in one. His twenties, his thirties, yeah. his forties. Yeah. I mean. I have it right here. He won three Super Bowls in his 20s. He won zero in his 30s and four in his 40s. He won. He lost zero Super Bowls in his 20s, lost two in his 30s, lost one in his 40s. Two Super Bowl MVPs in his 20s, zero, uh, zero in his 30s, three in his 40s. Zero. He wasn't, Tom wasn't in his 30s for 2014? I don't. I think 2014. I think that was the year he was 24. I actually, I've seen a couple different things because when I looked, I looked into it. And a lot of people, like a lot of graphics, had no su- the 30s, no Super Bowls. But then I saw another one where it had his 30s being um, saying he had two Super Bowls. Yeah, but, I I think he had two Super Bowls in his 30s. Well, what is he? He's 45. Because I believe, now. yeah, I believe he beat Seattle and the Falcons when he was 30, 39, 36 30, and 38. Or 37, 37 and 39, 37, 39, something like that. Yeah. But either way, okay. 
either way. either way, he has a Super um, Bowl in each decade of his career. Yeah, and then even if the 30s was his worst year achievement-wise, he set the pass record at the time, 50 mm-hmm. touchdown passes, mm-hmm. and almost led an undefeated team to the Super Bowl. Well, yes, lost in the Super Bowl and yes. almost did the full thing. So right. that's my thing on on why Mahomes isn't even touching Brady right now. And with that said, if you, unless you want to touch on that, I do want to talk about a couple of our favorite moments so, with Tom Brady. Right before we get into our favorite moments of Tom, the thing I don't get, the new argument that people are making, is Tom Brady's Bill Russell and Patrick Mahomes' is Michael Jordan. In what sense can that be the case? Because as you just said, Tom Brady was playing Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, Ben Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers, Eli Manning, Drew Brees, and I'm sure there are a few more that I'm forgetting, Bill Russell was facing Wilt Chamberlain, and basically Wilt Chamberlain alone. It's not like Tom was only playing one great player. Yeah. Tom was playing this whole catalog in the golden era golden of the era, NFL. Exactly. That's what I was The best point. era, the most competitive era of the NFL. Of course. And he won seven Super Bowls. And he beat Mahomes in one of them. Yeah. When he was 43. So I don't... On a new team. His first year with a new team. It's not like you like, can make the argument of Bill Russell only had to beat Wilt, Tom only had to beat one other guy, yeah. and then Patrick Mahomes, similar to Jordan, that, where Jordan had to beat that like would, Drexler, yeah. Barkley. If, like, Johnny Unitas won, like, like six Ten Super, Super Bowls. Bowls. Yeah, then we have... A then case. there's your Bill Russell. Yeah. There's your that, Bill Russell. This is that so effect. far from Bill Russell. And the fact, It makes no sense. Another thing I want to throw out there, and this is going to... I know you're going to love this, too, because this is the Rodgers argument of the past decade, where everyone was like... He's the greatest arm talent ever, but his talent, but his talent. Who oh, cares? What is it? His talent his doesn't talent. translate to shit. Holmes is the greatest talent. Okay, tell Rodgers that he has the greatest talent, and his one Super Bowls can go and enjoy his talent wherever the fuck he is later. Okay, if tell Mahomes right now he can enjoy his talent. Brady beat you in the Super Bowl when he was when he was forty three. Yeah. Brady is miles ahead of you, and I'm not saying this because like, obviously this is the media just going crazy, but like there are people out there like Nick Wright. I'm looking at you, like. You cannot tell me that Mahomes... He already has Mahomes as his number two quarterback of all time. Are we going to diminish Peyton Manning's career like that? Are we going to diminish shouldn't. Peyton Manning's career like that? And, and to your At point... Least, and if not others. To your point, Patrick Mahomes walked into Andy Reid, and Andy Reid is, what, a top 10 at least? I'd At probably least say more like 10. five now. He's I, way I he's winning again. I agree. Peyton Manning is the only quarterback to bring four different head coaches to the Super Bowl. What, uh, That's an insane what, what, stat. What pick was Peyton? One. Yeah. Walked which into a means, dog shit which team. Which means what? Team shit was horrible. Team. Shit team. team was horrible. And then the next year, it, obviously they stink his rookie year. Then they go 13-3 and three the next year. Yeah. That, That's value. It's, it's That's value. It's, and five honest, MVPs. Yeah. I don't think people understand exactly. how great winning five MVPs is. Five MVPs is uh, seven-time first-team All-Pro. That's insane. 14-time Pro Bowl in an 18-year career. There was four years where this guy didn't make the Pro Bowl. And in one of them, he missed the entire season. We're taking away from... Like, imagine being Peyton right now and hearing that, and he's like, I did all of that. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> like, really? Four, five years in, six years in, already getting this? Like, yeah, I don't... I would be so mad. No, and, and another thing, too, is... Yeah, sure, Patrick Mahomes threw 50 touchdowns in, what, his, his first full year starting? Mm-hmm. It was flag football when he did that. Peyton Manning threw 49 touchdowns in 2004... When you can actually mug everyone down the field. Yeah, it's it's a different game, and if people refuse to believe that there's any difference within with throwing Mahomes out there like he's playing in the same yeah. NFL as these guys, they're crazy, yeah. and they don't want to admit that they're wrong. And another thing, too, Aiden, And this isn't Mahomes' hate, by the way. We no, like I love Mahomes. I think Mahomes is a top-five quarterback great ever. League. I think Mahomes... League. Yeah, I, I'm ready to say he's the fifth-best quarterback of all time I think now. If, he, if he wins this one, I would be willing to probably put him at four. Yeah, I'd probably go Brady, Manning, Montana. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. I mean, I, I'm so happy you just brought up Montana. What happened to this whole... He was the Jordan. Joe Montana, 4-0 in Super Bowls, perfect in Super Bowls. You'll never see another quarterback. No interceptions, never threw a pick in the Super Bowl. Perfect quarterback in the Super Bowl. And then all of a sudden, this guy comes around, and since he's doing underhand passes behind a line of scrimmage, everyone's like, oh, my God, I've never seen this before. Like, oh, oh, like, oh my God. Yeah. It's, it's what a, happened to all this? It took Tom Brady. Culture. That's what it, it is. took Tom Brady winning seven Super Bowls for a lot of people to finally acknowledge that he's yeah. better than Joe Montana. He oh, yeah. nearly had to double his Super Bowl count. 
When he when and now yes, Mahomes has one and he's been to what his third and now everyone's like, well, he's better than Joe Montana. How? It's ridiculous. How? It's ridiculous. In sure. what sense? Co- come back to me when, when and, and don't tell me that his wide receiver room is terrible because Brady worked with much less at points. He has MVS is not a bad receiver. He is a solid receiver. Solid. Juju had three. a very good. Juju back had a year. good year. But at the same Travis time, Kelsey. you do you have to credit Mahomes and Reed, of course. For revitalizing a lot of yeah, but, but Juju if, in, in particular, if we're going, revitalizing if, his career. If we're going person to person, um, Kelsey and Gronk, let's just equal them out. Uh, just for the sake, just Gronk's for the sake, better. Yes, but just for the sake of of how much they mean for their team. Then you go to some of the teams when the year when Edelman was hurt. What Hogan or Amendola. Juju? I'm going Juju. Uh, yes. Amendola or MVS. I'm going MVS. Uh, I go Amendola. I mean, it depends if you're going big moments or if you're going full receiver. Like, what they could do compared right, to each other. Right. But, but, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, these teams are – it's different. And it's just, like it, – it just disappoints me to see Mahomes getting already like this. Like, what's going to yeah. happen five years from now? They're going to be like, yeah, he's undisputedly the greatest ever. Like, he's not even cl- – he needs and, – and I'm not the one to be like, all right, he needs eight Super Bowls to be better than Brady. If he has an insane career like this and goes till he's, like – 37, 38, and he finishes with like four or five Super Bowls and he still did all this, I would be willing to concede, if he deserves it, that he's bre- better than Brady. But there is so, will, he's so far away from it. I will never, never, ever say that he's better than Tom Brady. But you know ever. me. I mean, I, how am I going to say that Tom's not the GOAT? That's, lit- that's the only thing I care Brady about. Brady has seven Super Bowls. He beat Mahomes in the Super Bowl. And in the AFC Championship game in Mahomes' house. Yeah. So how can you say that he's better than Brady? You it's can't. True. It's true. I grew up in in the New England area as a Peyton Manning fan, and all my friends would just make fun of me, like, "Well, he can't be better than Tom because he doesn't beat Tom in the playoffs," which he did, uh, three and two against Tom <laughs> in the playoffs. Actually, he did. Um, but if we're gonna have this argument, why are we all of a sudden changing it for Mahomes? Because yeah. we want to elevate Mahomes because people are sick of Brady and how good he was. That's exactly what it's it is. literally what it is, and I'm not a huge like. Oh, everyone hates Tom. Everyone hates Tom. I'm not like a Tom Brady blowhard at all. I'm really not. Like, I'm a fucking Peyton Manning fan, but it's a little ridiculous that we're trying to elevate Mahomes above. I'm sure Tom you're not happy when he it doesn't deserve it for Manning, because because you know that it's just. I mean, I've accepted BS. he's eventually going to pass Peyton in terms of all time quarterback. Like, I've accepted I feel like, it. At yeah, this on point. the trajectory, pro- trajectory but like probably. Not yet. He hasn't passed Peyton yet. Yeah, definitely. To not. me, Mahomes has to win six MVPs and like three Super Bowls for me to put him ahead of Peyton. Yeah, I mean, I think he's still far, far away away from those two. Yeah, at least I agree. Um, and Montana, I, I think Montana. there's a sizable gap between those three and Mahomes. Yeah, um, and that shouldn't be like a hot take. <laughs> like, it shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> like these are those it's, three are top ten players of all time, regardless of position. Like, of course. top ten players, not just quarterbacks, players. Yeah, people, uh, they need to slow down a little bit. And we love them, but they need to slow down. All right, so favorite Tom Brady moment. He just, well, let me quick. He just retired, obviously. What a career. Um, I just want to thank you, Tom. I know you're not going to see this, but <laughs> you're the man. You're the man. You don't understand how good you made life when I was in middle school and, and high school. I uh, I loved you. I still do. You're a great guy. If you ever want to come on the pod, you ever want to hang, Get a beer. Yeah, that's it's on exactly me, dude. What he wants to do. I love you, Tom. Um, favorite moment. Tough to pick one. I could jump in real quick. Yeah, you I, go first. I've got, I've got two. Um, I don't want to go twenty-eight to three because I think it's the obvious pick. Okay, yes, that's what I was thinking too. But I hate these shit. I'm gonna go. Faces. I'm gonna go. You guys are just like <laughs> favorite moment. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> salty Jets fan. Um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go. Long hair era Tom Brady. Yeah, like 07 to like 2010. So vintage. <laughs> dude, nothing beats that. Um, sad years. They always ended at sad years. But that was like so vintage. Like he's the guy right there. And uh, if I had to go number one, honestly, it's a weird answer. But I felt so good. Well, I probably mean the Seahawks Super Bowl is like right there. But I felt so good after we won that Ram Super Bowl because it hit me where I was like, I know I've been preaching it for years already, but like, this guy there's go. yeah, there's like, no argument in the world. You can't scratch and find. You can't search for an argument 
in which Brady isn't the GOAT. And that felt so good to me. Yeah. Um, and just seeing him celebrate with Jules after the game Jules had, mm-hmm. I mean, it was great. Um, what a guy. I have to – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick three games. Um, I love oh, the wait. 2014 divisional game against the it's, Ravens okay. at Gillette. Yeah, uh, all time, round. all time. Uh, the Jules double pass game, that game was just sick. Like, that was awesome. Yes. Um, I fun. love the game – where he carried them back against Jacksonville uh, yes. in 2018, uh, because uh, I know conference? they didn't. Yeah, yeah, I know they didn't win the Super Bowl that year, but he was at that point he had nothing to work with, mm-hmm. and him and Amendola literally willed them back into that game. Yeah, uh, so that was awesome. Wow, I'm getting I'm and getting then, goosebumps. I'm and, literally getting goosebumps. <laughs> and then when he went to Lambeau Field when he was on the Bucks and kicked oh, Rogers' ass God. in the NFC Championship Come game, on. that was awesome. I want to throw one in too. That was awesome. I forget what year. But snow game, what was it? Six touchdowns against the Titans. Two thousand nine against the Titans. Titans two thousand nine, <laughs> when he absolutely demolished. Yeah, he them. hit Randy they, on they two pull deep at, bombs. They pull him at half or uh, third, third quarter, quarter. I quarter. think he would have thrown for like eight touchdowns oh if god. they left him in the game. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, what a time! What a time to be a Patriot fan! What a time to be a fan of football! Thank you, Tom, from the bottom of my heart. We love you. Uh, enjoy retirement, yeah. and don't don't unretire this time. Just yeah, enjoy yourself. You're done. Can I give okay. my uh, favorite Tom moment? Let's. Yeah, I want to hear it. I'm so I'm gonna go 2010. Uh, divi- divisional round against the Jets. <laughs> divisional <laughs> round against the Jets in Foxborough. Yep. Uh, yeah, Tom didn't show up to play, and uh, Mark Sanchez did. So I'm actually gonna go with uh, the Thanksgiving game against the Jets in 2010. Oh, I, I like that one too. Of the butt fumble <laughs> game. <laughs> I like that one too. We don't have to talk about that one. <laughs> um. All right. Without further ado, let's get into NFL awards. Um, our picks, they're coming out, I think, this Thursday, Friday, right? Uh, Thursday is the award show, I believe. Thursday. So, um, about a week ahead. And, uh, we're going to go and give our picks. Let's go one for one. So, MVP, do you want to start? Patrick Mahomes, um, is easily the MVP this year. Yeah. Um, as much as I'd love to go Jalen Hurts, you got to go Mahomes. Um, if Jalen played every single game, if, yeah, if he didn't miss, if he didn't miss those two games, but I would have sided with him just for the step up he took. Even though it isn't a step up award, right, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it has to be Mahomes right now. Uh, defensive Player of the Year, Nick Bosa. Best defensive player on the best defense, leader of the defense. Excuse me. I think it's just easily Nick Bosa. He's on yeah. another level. I think this top three might be the best top three we've seen in a while, where it's Bosa, Chris Jones, and Parsons. Mm-hmm. Um, Parsons kind of slowed down, I believe, near the he end did. of the year. He did. He fizzled out a lot at the end of yeah. the year. Yeah, um, or else he probably would have been my pick. Chris Jones is right up there, the way he's been dominating the playoffs. Another guy well. who doesn't get enough credit for this Chiefs oh, for dynasty well, that's starting right now. Especially, I don't think he had a playoff sack in his career, but he He just forced, got one last week. Yeah, exactly. He forced so many pressures that guys like Frank Clark, um, it's like third all-time in in postseason sacks yeah, because, because he set of, him up yeah, so much. Yeah, and then Carl exactly. Loftus, the rookie, he's exactly. been getting in. So um gotta give him his credit. But yeah, both is I think both is a standout here. Maybe we'll uh differ here. <clears throat> Offensive player of the year. Justin Jefferson. Uh he the Vikings were a fraudulent team all year. The one actual great player in that team was Justin Jefferson. And like I think he's the sole reason that they won as many games as they did. Yeah. That Buffalo game where he made oh, that one handed catch on fourth down, like that was nuts. Yeah. Um, it's going to be Jefferson, I feel, but just to be a little different here, uh, Jalen Hurts is one of the four finalists and I'm going to go Jalen Hurts. I respect it. Um, one, because, you know, I've been riding with him all year and, uh, two, I know it doesn't count. It's a playoff game, but it really disappointed me the way Jefferson disappeared in that right. playoff game. Um, on like the biggest stage. Yeah. So it doesn't obviously affect in real life. Right. Right. Offensive player of the year, uh, offensive rookie of the year. Gonna go with Garrett Wilson of the New York Jets. I like that. I like if that. It, if um, why am I blanking on his name? Kenneth Walker, Brock Purdy. No, um, Brees Hall. Brees Hall. Thank you. Um, if he didn't get hurt, he would have ran away with this yeah. award. And uh, actually, we'll see it next time. But that's the Jets could have a clean sweep at of Rookie yeah, of the Year. I'm the most possible. We should just skip to that right now. I'm gonna take Sauce Gardner easily for yeah. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um, this guy's nuts. It'll be the first time since I believe it was Marshawn Lattimore and uh, Alvin Kamara. They did it. Wow, right on the Saints. Just a great class. What was that? Nine years ago? No, Longer? It was like 2014 or something. Yeah. I could be wrong. Um, 
Oh, nice so nine Jackson years ago. Class. Was it nine? Twenty four. Well, eight no, years ago. Yeah, eight. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're getting old. <laughs> um, <laughs> for offensive rookie of the year for me, um, I'm gonna go Kenneth Walker. I loved him at Michigan State, and he's been great. And not only that, I know I keep doing it. It's a regular season award, but he played his heart out against the Niners in that tough defense. Um, you know, I Purdy deserves some votes. Garrett Wilson, of course, he played phenomenal this year. Um, but Kenneth Walker, what do you? He had a stretch of like six, seven games with 100 yards, like eight games maybe mm-hmm. in a row where he scored a touchdown. So I have to give him his credit. And then defensive rookie of the year, I'm going to go Sauce. Yeah. But I do want the record to show that Tariq Woolen is still being slept on. <sighs> he, he he statistically was the best corner this year. Sauce Gardner was the most lockdown corner. Well, because they didn't throw to Sauce. Exactly. Yeah, they didn't, you well, couldn't, that's you couldn't why grab I, the stats. That's why, they that's why I argue. phrased it that way. Sauce, is, Sauce was the most dominant corner. Tariq did the most with when the ball was thrown his way. Me and Sal went to the Pats Jets game at Gillette. Horrible game. Yeah, it was a terrible Horrible game. game. Terrible game. Sauce Gardner was easily the best player on that field. He's amazing. He was insane. It's amazing. Like he and was the I love it was he not like him and Marcus Jones, the two bright spots of the whole game. Mm-hmm. They were yeah, the only ones the that were doing reasons. anything productive. Yeah. Um and uh, Zach Wilson too, you know. Oh yeah, he was great. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing real good. Um, uh, comeback player of the year. I'm gonna go with Saquon Barkley. Um, I don't know if he's. I haven't even checked like the odds or anything. I don't know if he like it's, even. He's one of the three. Okay, yeah. So, um, what is it? Saquon, Geno, and Saquon, Geno, and, and McCaffrey. I respect the Geno. The people who would take Geno, I respect the the hell out of the pick. Saquon should have been. I know they didn't win as many games as a typical MVP finalist, but in terms of like actual value to a team, you could have made a case for him to be like a top five MVP candidate this year. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Saquon for this award. I think this is actually the toughest category to pick. Yeah. Um, Saquon, McCaffrey, and Gino all deserve to win this award. Um, I might have to agree with you on Saquon. I just uh, think that Gino fell off a bit at the end of the year. I would go Gino. Yeah, I. that's what I'm saying. Also, this is like, the hardest one Saquon, to pick. Saquon, that's like anticipated. That's what he should be doing. Like that's just, like I don't oh, know, but a lot of people were back, saying that I kind of agree with that. A lot of like, people were Gino, saying that Saquon couldn't do it anymore, though. Like Gino shouldn't have came back. And easily the hardest, game. easily the hardest topic to pick. Like they were supposed to suck. Like he yeah. wasn't even supposed to. Well, the Giants were supposed to suck too, and he wasn't yeah. even terrible in the playoff game. He wasn't even terrible. He got they were over, they were outmatched, but he was not that bad. He wasn't. No, he, I thought he played well. Yeah, he played well. I thought he played well. Um, that's the hardest category to pick for sure. I'm probably going Saquon though. Coach of the year. Going with Dan Campbell. I don't care that they didn't make the playoffs. Um, he's actually, yeah, okay. He's electric. Um, they had that game at Lambeau at the end of the year. Literally did nothing for them. Oh, that was sick. Like, that did absolutely nothing for them. And a guy who's able to get his team going in that spot, like, literally the last game of the regular season, you know that you're eliminated, and it's just a major fuck you to the other team. You go out there and you rinse them. Like, mm. that's a great coach. So I'm yeah. going to go with Dan Campbell. Um, I, uh, I'm a little torn here. I'm between Brian Dable and Nick Sirianni, and I'm going to go Dable um, because I think his was purely from his success was purely from the uh, coaching right. uh, standpoint. Right. Whereas I think Sirianni and the Eagles had a lot of help from the GM. Yeah. Like that roster was so good compared to the Giants. That roster wasn't as good as the Eagles this year, and the team still performed phenomenal. Right. So Brian Dable, um, great guy, former Patriot, former uh, Alabama. Guy, the other reason that I'm going to go with Dan Campbell for this too, like regardless of them missing the playoffs, when they traded TJ Hawkinson, it looked like they were just tanking in the season. They got better. Throwing it away. They, they won better. like seven straight games. So They did. I mean, similar point to last game of the year, you can't make the playoffs, and you still go out there and play a hell of a game anyway. It looks like the season's over. You traded, what, your third most talented player behind, or yeah. maybe fourth behind the running back group and Amon Ross. Playmaker, so, yeah. I mean... I just I, I'm really impressed by Dan Campbell and I hope they make the playoffs next year. I think they deserve it. And uh executive of the year, GM of the year. Yeah, Howie Rosewood. Just has, it has to be. I do want to give credit to um Giants guy or Jets guy. Joe Douglas. Joe Douglas. No. Give credit. He had a, he had a he had a good he had a good I don't know what he's he doing just with the He's gotta find a quarterback. I don't he's know what he's 20, doing with the James Robinson he's twenty and trade. He's twenty and forty. Still he's he's rebuilding awesome. a team, Sal. So. Also, also, let me um blanking on his name. Um he the said, Seahawks GM, John John Snyder. Yeah, oh, yeah, he absolutely big, fleeced the Broncos. Yeah, so. big. Well, fleeced the Broncos. Nailed on Woolen. Nailed on Kenneth Walker. Mm-hmm. Gino. 
Uh, good, good for him. Uh, honestly, no, I'm going with I'm going with Howie, but yeah, he's right up there. Well, Howie Rosen made a trade for he's, AJ Brown that literally made them a Super Bowl contender. So, good. like, that's insane. Um, all right, let's get into our favorite coaching hires uh, so far. Um, Sean Payton. Uh, it was a it's a hire. It was also a trade. Uh, yes. The Saints. God, I will double check real quick, but I believe it was a first, first a second, second. for Payton and a mm-hmm. third. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about that? I mean, on paper, it's a good move, but I mean, are you better than the Chiefs? No. Are you better than the, better Chargers? Than the Chargers? No. Better than the Raiders? If you get, <laughs> if Rodgers goes to the Raiders, are you better than them? <laughs> no. I think they should just they should pay the league a ton of money to switch divisions. They should go to like. They should go to like the the Bucks division or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I, give I mean, right now. like I think they will be a good team, but based on the division that they're in, like you're giving up a lot of shit. Yeah, including think- the rush trade. Like you gave up a lot of assets. Yeah, and now you give up even more assets for Sean Payton to potentially go eight and nine. I just like I understand why you do it. Like you have to do the move. You have to do. The you move. have to do it if it's available. In. You already went and all like, in. Listen, I'm not in. saying they won't make the playoffs. They could make the playoffs. I think like, it was technically like Bradley Chubb for Sean Payton. I think oh, I think the, he's right. The because the pick that they got from the Dolphins just ended up going right to Sean Payton. Interesting. Since. But that um, pick that they got for Bradley Chubb was supposed to replace a lot of the picks that they gave they up lost, to get Russell yeah, Wilson. Right. So, I mean... But, and then the other thing... Like, you have to do it, but at the same time, like, if you go 8-9, and nine, you're going to get memed again. Yeah, the other thing, too, is I think Sean Payton... Did this because he knows that if it does all blow up and doesn't work out, that he kind of has a scapegoat in Russ. Like, yes, he just wasn't true. Thought he was. But at this point, it'll be able to show though. The lack of Russ's mobility, like he's not as quick or as fast or mobile as he, he used to be. Like a, like at a this breeze. point, he's literally Drew Brees. Yeah. And it, Russ like, has size, great accuracy. build, and great accuracy. He, he does, and he has a great um, deep ball still. I actually, I like the move. It sucks that they had to trade. For I him. also think we're ignoring the fact that Sean Payton went seven and nine or six and ten a lot with Drew Brees. Yeah, like I people he, people overrate he Sean Payton a, a little bit. He's a great coach. He's a great offensive mind. He's a great offensive mind. He's a little bit overrated. He's an overrated he coach. He's a better. I I he'd work wonders. I feel like as an OC, but that's um, he but never he's too good. To at, never he's too that. good yeah. to be an OC. Agreed. He is o- an overrated coach, but. Not by much. He's he's right. good. He deserves credit. Right. But um, like those it's a Super Bowl. Teams. It's a Super Bowl. It's just whenever you get a Super Bowl, everyone McCarthy. Uh, right. He sucks. Fire McCarthy. Like guy sucks. Sean Payton. It's weird. He's the kind of guy that never got criticized. Like, how many times were the Saints one and done, or they go to the NFC yeah. Championship game and they lose in the last like four years never criticized. of Breeze and Payton, and neither one of them ever got any shit for it. So. Um, I mean, I think it's a little bit of an a, overpay. Give me a grade. Give me a grade. Go B minus. Um. Yeah. I go. I'll go B. Uh. The having to pay for him sucks. Yeah. Like trade wise. Another thing I want to mention is the Saints. I was really high on them. I don't really like what they're doing at head coach. Still keeping them, but getting all the getting picks for your head coach, which is basically free picks because you didn't have them anyway and you wasn't going to come back anyway. I think it helps a lot. I think the Saints team give it like give them like two years. They're gonna get Derek Carr. If they get Derek Carr, they get Derek Carr. Think they're gonna get Derek Carr. If they get Derek Carr, they'll win that division. Well, I'd be worried. Sucks. Yeah, I'd be worried about that. The head coach. I don't think he's the guy, but I I do like. Who did they even? Who who did they hire? They had the guy from last year that they hired. Oh. Um, Why am I forgetting his name? I think it was in house. Was he in house? Yes. Yes. Something Allen. The Saints. Yeah, Allen. Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen. They're DC. So frustrating to watch. And Aiden, I think you could vouch for this too. When we we had, like, I love like, them. We had bets on like Kamara and stuff. Yeah. Oh and my god. Like, they, don't they don't use. They don't use, them. They they don't don't use, use their running backs at all. They're they're pretty frustrating. Yeah, they, they are. You're completely right with that. Um, next one. So B B minus B. D'Amico Ryan's 49ers defensive coordinator, probably the assistant coach of the year. Going to the Houston Texans. What do you think? Played to played on the Texans. I mean, in terms of like him as a coach, I'll go like A minus. Because I think he's a very good coach, but the team sucks. That's a tough team. To like, turn what? Around. What are you gonna do with where that do you, team? Where do you even start? I, I agree. Like, <laughs> quarterback. You reassess quarterback. Maybe. I think. I think the plan for them should be. Maybe they get Derek Carr. I don't think even Carr would want to go there. 
I think the plan for what them. What if he has no options? I think the plan for them is to no, no spend the year, spend oh, the year that's big. coaching up this defense and a culture. You get a top pick next year. You trade up with whatever it takes. You get Caleb Caleb Williams from USC, and at that point, hopefully, D'Amico Ryan's has installed his defense in. Yeah, and you and have a solid have a defense and a good co- good fix. quarterback. Yeah, I think that's the plan there. And uh, they have no talent. They they have very they have talent. no talent. <laughs> They don't have talent. They're yeah, the worst team. I don't even um, know where you start. I do like the hire though. He's he was easily the best guy on right. the market this year, um, besides I guess Peyton. I feel bad for him because it's, gonna, it's not going to be easy. He's going to get paid. It's not going to work well, out. It's not going to work out. He's going to go to be a DC somewhere else. And he's then he's going go to get another head coach and chance. Be great. <laughs> and by that point, like you you typically get two shots at it, two yeah. cracks at being a head coach. Yeah. And I understand why he's doing this now because you do want to put young. yourself in the head. The head coach circle, mm-hmm. um, but you're kind of putting yourself. He should have the understanding He's of v- vulnerable. Very uh, vulnerable. This isn't going to work out. This is more of a improve in terms of my career trajectory. Yes. Yeah. Type of deal. Yeah, I wouldn't shoot for playoffs. This anytime. team blows. Yes, this team's not. And good. you have to deal with Trevor Lawrence and the Jags in your division with Doug Peterson, who are just going to keep growing and getting better. Yeah, and talking about defense, the Dolphins hired um, uh, Vic Fangio. Vic Fangio. Great hire. I think that's an A plus hire. I think I think barring a Tua injury, concussion, something like that, and honestly, I think they should grab another quarterback. I think they should because they need a stable backup quarterback. Their team is so good that if with everything's in place now, yeah. if they're doing amazing and Tua gets a concussion or whatever, he might have to retire. Yeah, well, maybe they like. Get and then Jim- what do you do? Jimmy G is like a backup. Well, not even not even to like, like rip Tua, awesome. but like literally, if you get Jimmy G as a backup, and then Tua gets hurt, you'll see no difference in quality of play by the offense. Yeah, I mean it's just Tua is not that good. They're in a bad situation because it's not even like even if he does play amazing, it could all end in a like that. Yeah, one more head injury. I think that's all it takes. Honestly, I, I feel bad for him. No, and you're also. The AFC East is going to be good next year. Very good. That's why the Bills, dude, watch out. They they moved the salary cap up. Remember I was talking about mm-hmm. They moved the salary cap up. I think they were projecting it to go up to like 235-ish, yeah. 230. It went up to like 225. Yeah. So the Bills are projected to be 240 over 240. So they're still like $15 million over cap, even more than they they thought they were going to be with the yeah, new. It, that move also. They're in trouble. They're in trouble. <clears throat> Opens up the pass again. <clears throat> D-hop. <coughs> D-hop. D-hop. Excuse D-hop. Me. D-hop. Diggs. Diggs. <coughs> Diggs. D-hop. Diggs. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins. I heard we're bringing back Randy. You're being Taylor. summoned to New England, sir. <laughs> um, if we get D-hop, <laughs> we win 11 games. We'll be, we'll, oh, <laughs> that'd all right. be awesome. And to wrap it up, where we were right, a little book out of Collins. A little, uh, we're taking a little page out of Collins' book. All right. Where we were right, where we were wrong. Oh, NFL edition. I have mine, but you. Yeah, yes, you we yes we will get we will get to that. Um, right and wrong. Uh, I'll start first with the obvious one. I'm not gonna go into it for long. The Eagles, Weagles. the Weagles, and Jalen Hurts. I hate them. Um, if you didn't know this, I predicted this. Tids, <laughs> I think everyone knows. <laughs> I think everyone knows. I'm not even gonna say it. Um, um, just fan. check check our e- check our Instagram. <laughs> like the Eagles more than the Pats. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, Benny went with the Lakers in the South. Oh game. my God! <laughs> Literally li- roots for the Lakers every night. You're from you're from Mass. Okay, I. No, no, no. Aiden can. I root for I, the I, Celtics I first. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not letting that be put out in the air. I I am a Celtics fan. Number one, I enjoy LeBron James. I think he's a very good guy. Very good at basketball. Yeah. Great human. And being. everything he's done. I want to see him win. You enjoy that as well. We've had very good players. What do you think about Bryce James? Who? Bri- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce Maxwell. <laughs> he seems like a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Uh, you see, Bronny was like, what was he ranked twenty eighth? No, yeah, yeah. Class? Yeah, he'll be. Uh, you know, he's got like a seven point six million dollar nil deal. Those are those That's are crazy. At twenty eighth, inflated. Realistically, I think he's, he's, he's ripping like eighty five. You see, uh, Mikey Williams is like a thirty eight or thirty five. What I'm something. saying. Crazy. He'll suck. I think I was like 43 or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden El Grab, like 27. Well, I was number one, but I opted to go into sports yeah. media instead. Right. Yeah, right. obviously. The better decision. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to hear from you. What are your what's your first right? My first right, I actually nailed this one on the head. I said the Bills would go 12 and 5 or 13 and 4, and uh it would be like their best team ever, but they'd still lose in the divisional round. <laughs> yeah, the script. Who gave him the script? Who script, gave Benny the script? script me and Arian Foster were hanging out yeah. in like August, and he gave me the script for the season. Um, <laughs> That's but yeah, so the the Bills are allergic to prosperity. 
So yeah, fuck them. All right, next year it's gonna get even more rough for them. Um, my yeah. second right, Dak Prescott. We'll go to you right after this one. Dak Prescott, never big fan. Always liked him, liked the guy, liked what he does on the field, but I didn't like the way he was progressing. I felt yeah. like sh- the way the way the team was built around him, he should have been. He should be doing much more than he should than he's been doing. Uh-huh. And I feel like he disappointed me. I was right on that, and he uh, threw the game away in the playoffs. So yeah, yeah, not That's good. My second one. Um, Do you wanna you wanna give your you have a right or a wrong? I have two rights. They're about like fifty right. fifty. So I guess you have a huge wrong. That's just sitting right. at the top of my head right now. Okay, we'll get into it. But Bengals. Um, that's right. It's not a, well. Like it's you said, a, it's the Bengals would miss the playoffs. No, no, no. I said the bang. I said we. You said nev- they would miss the playoffs. Said Joe Burrow. I said never Joe make Burrow again. will never. You will possible. never see Joe Burrow in a Super Bowl again. And it's it's you can't say that just yet. But with this season now being over for him, that's it's brownie points for me. Oh my um, and my other one was uh, predicted the downfall of Tom Brady getting a divorce with Giselle and uh. You did say that going back into hiding. You did say that. I did. Was he like a- the turtle, <laughs> more back to the shell. That's it. The downfall. All right, of Tom. For, for for my second one, I'm gonna go with the Jags. I said the Jags would be a much improved team this year. Love it. I actually like the were. Jags too. I like. Them. Um, I know. I know our wrong. I altered <laughs> my pick to them being a playoff team after Week One, which came true. Um, but yeah, wildly impressed with the Jags. Trevor Lawrence is legit, and I like uh, it. I'm really happy that Trevor isn't. Is above. it crazy to say he kind of took the Peyton Manning arc? He did kind of, in a way. With the first overall pick as well. He just didn't AFC South team. The sneaky horrible Peyton the arc. first year, make the playoffs the next year. But the only difference is Peyton went 13 and three his second year, yeah. and he's just that much better. <laughs> oh, that so. one there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my third right is Justin Fields. Um, it was about midway through the year. You said that. Well, it was about midway through the year. We should and like crop like the the LeBron meme. Like, when I said he was gonna, he was gonna run for four hundred yards. I said that. I said that. I said that. Uh, <laughs> no, I did say halfway through the year, when Jalen Hurts, or sorry, when Justin Fields was doing nothing. See, he just make, he goes Jalen right. Hurts. He's all it's just stuck, stuck in my he head. He loves the Eagles, dude. He <laughs> when, loves them. When Justin Fields was doing nothing great, it was just whatever. Um, I remember you got. I was talking to you guys. I still think he blows. In the yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have. I think. What no. if they win three wins? They three no, no, wins? no, 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 yeah. That, that didn't translate into wins, but <laughs> it was right before he went on his tear where I was like, I mean, listen, I liked him when he was when he was younger in high school. I He was on the, sh- the show, and I watched him, and he looked like a great player. Did good, good things at Ohio State. And I was like, hey, you don't count him out yet. He doesn't have anything to work with. He's on a terrible team. Obviously, they're drafting first, so they are a terrible team. And uh, right after I said that, he just went on a tear where he became – Lamar Jackson <laughs> and had a great run. I still um, think s- he sizzled stinks. out near the end. <laughs> I, I, I don't think stinks. you're right. I think I, I don't think I you're don't right. Think you're right. I, I think do. he sucks. He had a he had a really good stretch. What was his like, completion was percentage for the year? The year. Yeah, okay, for, but, yeah. For um, also, who's he throwing to? Okay, for, oh for my a god. Running back, he played he played pretty good. No, but <laughs> just about it though. But yeah, who, who he, was he throwing to all year? Listen, it, tra- it translates. Who was Mac Jones throwing to all year? Mac Trans- still had a better year. Translates to win. Mac sucked this year. I don't know if he had a better year. Dude, they picked up Chase Claypool. Just nothing. Are, are we stinks. including running? Because because David Montgomery. Cl- what, what was Khalil his completion Herbert? percentage? Yeah, sorry, this Wi-Fi, so bad. Shout out to Quinnipiac Wi-Fi. So bad. Come on, buddy. Shout out Quinnipiac. Every time I refresh it, it goes away. It Bobcat Net. Um, <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> go ahead, Aiden. I mean, the only thing it's showing me is it through seven. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> um, but rushing wise, no, I don't he's care. He's not a running back. He's, okay. he's a quarterback. quarterback. Okay, Justin. All right, well, Lamar Jackson. He's not a running back. He's quarterback. All right, Lamar Jackson. He's an MVP. Com- Lamar Jackson completes like sixty three percent of his throws. And Lamar Jackson right, is an MVP. 88 yards, 82 yards a touchdown. I, what's yards his completion touchdown. percentage? 178 yards. What's his one completion touchdown. percentage? Bro, 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 bro. What's his passer rating and what's his completion percentage? Aiden, Aiden, I, I get what you're trying to do. Take this, take this take that you have. Just follow it into the 2023 season, 2024. Like, I'm just, just take it into next year. Well, I'm just saying, let's not fuck. You've down yet to tell me what his completion down. percentage. I'm trying, was. Benny. The Wi-Fi is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the li- oh, the uh, I literally can't find it. I I genuinely oh, okay. don't uh, know what it is. It could be 60 something percent. Si- 60.4. Yep, there you go. It's 2200, all right. 2200 yards, 17 touchdowns, to 11 picks. But the majority of his touchdowns, I'm pretty. He had 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He had eight rushing touchdowns. He's a quarterback. He had eight rushing touchdowns, and I can't calculate it, but he had three. He had three games with over 130 rushing yards. One of them was 178, which was a record. He had five, four or five games over 80 rushing yards. One of them was 95. Yeah, but I'm talking about him as like a passer. Like yeah, but like, is he gonna win games in the NFL? No, not as a passer, but if he could do both, then he could be Lamar esque in a way. You get a right slash wrong for this one. Yeah, I don't I'll think this get was a half this, check mark. This wasn't good enough to put in the right column. <laughs> I don't know. I don't <laughs> think. I don't think no, it was good. The enough. reason why it's in the right column is because this, like, literally the week before the but week I said it after every week since then. But he, he still kind of stinks. He, nobody, he didn't. He was doing great. Uh, but back. he wasn't winning. Who's your, who's your quarterback one in fantasy? Was it him? No. Okay, who had him? Because he was like the QB one. No, Tags had guy. him. Yeah, that's why this team was nasty. Yeah, Jason stretch. Tags takes him. That, that's when you know he's not that good. Okay, maybe it's a half check. All Shout right, out Tags. <laughs> Shout out to Jason. Jason. <laughs> All right, for my go ahead. For my last right, I said the Packers would stink, and they stunk, and I loved every part of it. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, I hate you. You're not likable. I know you try to portray yourself as everyone thinks you're a villain. No, we just don't like you. You're not likable. You're not a good guy. Uh, you're a doofus. You're a um, doofus. And you just you need a new haircut. You have a shitty golf swing. I saw that. And you're not day. going to San Francisco. And you're not going to San Francisco. <laughs> Aaron, nobody asked. I'm not going to San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> Aaron, you got any news? I'm not going to San Francisco. Just so you know, Who cares? I'm not going to San Francisco, Ben. <laughs> Dude, no one, wa- no one from San Francisco <laughs> wants you in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. The only they've seen is you pull up there in the playoffs and get dogs for five years. They didn't even bat an eye. They didn't even bat an eye. No, they're like, like what? Like, what is this Everyone guy at that about? golf event was like, is this guy high? <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, what is this guy on? Hey, who cares? <laughs> and he's on the... I, that's Pat great. McAfee's got to stop having him on. Yeah, it's taking the Aaron shit. Aaron Rodgers Tuesdays. Dude, it's awful. Because he just... But they don't They don't hold back. They're, they'll come in and they'll ask him. They'll, yeah, be like, they'll, show, they'll be like, straight up, where are you, where yeah, you playing be, They'll year? be straight up, you're retiring, bud? He's like... No, and then he's like... He's, he's like, like, that's no. a uh, five-parted uh, question. Yeah. I'm going to have to break that down <laughs> No, he's like, bit. well, it depends on what reality you live yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, like, Aaron, it's... The multiverse. It's, Aaron, yeah. um, it, it's a simple question. Nah, guy's a weirdo, but... Where are you playing? He should play for the Jets. I also, I love that he is literally Brett Favre 2.0 in yeah. terms of the way that yeah. he's like. And you could tell. Like, he I don't like, know if I want to retire. And like, could, no one's shitting on him for it. You could tell he, when he, like, growing up, he didn't want to be like, right. Like, he, I think he made it a point where he didn't want to be like Favre. And he now he's like literally Favre. He's, Favre. he's literally Favre. Especially if he goes to the Jets. Yes. Dude, okay. It, it, there's um, just like, there's no way that guy had many friends growing up. <laughs> Like, he always tells a story about how his like, his like college teacher told him like he'll never be yeah, a yeah, athlete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, know. I don't care. It's been overdone. Let's, I, I don't on. care. Let's move on. First of all, uh, so, like it's a shame that he's good at football. It's a shame. It is. hurts it hurts our ego. I think we have like a three parted, like right. I think we all said the Vikings were going to be good this yes. year and win that division. But we we also nailed it on the head that we said that they would win the division because the Packers wouldn't be that right. Good. Right. Yeah. So, so good for us. We we get points for yeah. that. Kudos. Collected. Nice job, um, boys. Um, I think I also said the Pats were going to miss the playoffs. So that I said that too. Yeah, I think we all said that. Just <laughs> <laughs> has to throw it in. Um, <laughs> just kick you while okay. you're down. <laughs> where, where you missed the playoffs too. <laughs> where we were wrong. Rapid fire. Oh, I was right about Zach Wilson. Yes, See you, buddy. That's true. Yes. See you, oh, buddy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, yo, this, where? See you, bud. This will be fun. Where we went wrong? Actually, no, Ben. You said Zach Wilson was going to be unemployed in 2023. I know 2023 isn't over yet. Not over yet. So we'll see. You can't say that yet. I'm okay. Fine. Pending. I'm Pending. trending in yeah, the yeah, right yeah. direction. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, I like. Let's wa- go. I want to say Aiden's for him. It pisses me off so much. What? Where I was wrong. He said Tom Brady, Brady was going to go to the 40. I honestly don't think I was too far off. Did he? I don't think he I was retired. Too far off. It's over. <laughs> okay, but I, I don't think I was too far off. Aiden's, Aiden's, far Aiden's off. like, all right. If like, he was going chance, anywhere, he was Aiden's going like, there. there's a chance he comes back though and like plays for the 49ers. No, if he was going anywhere, he would have went there and it would have went. It would have. He would have won a Super Bowl. Okay. Um, <laughs> rapid fire. Where we were wrong. Uh, the Broncos started the year yeah, off saying minus six and a half I, was the easiest bet that I've ever seen. Completely did not hit. Yeah. And I, they were. I said they would miss the playoffs. I did say that. I didn't think they'd be that bad. Eh. Tough division, Benny. I don't know if you can get credit on that. What? If you're not going to give me a full point no, for Justin I don't, Fields. What? I don't if he's have... not going to give me a full point for Justin what? Fields. But I was actually right. 
I'll look at it later. <laughs> on my laptop, remember we predicted each team's records and stuff? Oh, yeah. I'm we sure did, that's a oh, disaster. I have that in my notes. We did the AFC West. I'm sure that's a disaster. No, oh, I, I dude, said, we the, said... We said the Broncos were going to have, like... I had the Chiefs wins. as, like, the second, like, most yeah. wins in the division. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought they were going to... I thought they were going to take a step back, but they were going to do good in the playoffs. It was just going to be, like, a rough regular season. No. All right, uh... I was wrong about the Chargers. I said that they'd be in the AFC Championship game, but I forgot that they're the Chargers, and they just don't win. So. They crumble up. What's you have a wrong or no? Oh, mine was a hundred percent the Broncos. Yeah, the, yeah, we were we were yeah. off. On the Raiders Broncos. too. I was wrong yeah. about the Raiders. I said they um, go ten and seven. I was wrong on the Saints. I do think that they're, I was wrong on them. I too. think that they're trending up, but not a good year for them in the slightest. Oh, oh, oh! And me and Ben were wrong about the Eagles, like completely. Oh, very wrong yeah. about the Eagles. Very wrong. Then probably, I still think they're frauds. Like you, you beat a fifth string quarterback. <laughs> the, like, they're in the Super Bowl, then. <laughs> all right, congrats! You you beat me at quarterback. Good if they for win you. the Super Bowl, it's gonna be like, oh, Mahomes' ankle. Is <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna lose by at least fifteen. Um, let's not gonna te- get let's, let's not tease the next episode. Uh, they're gonna get destroyed. And then my final wrong: the Giants. Um, oh, yeah. So I you continue, but I, I yeah. Say after that. I uh, I mean, if we're doing like. Mid-season picks as well. I was right about the Giants, but before the season, I didn't think they'd make the playoffs. I so I'm in a group chat, my other fantasy football group chat, and it's like 11 Giant fans, and I sent their record. Cheating on us? What? You cheating on us? I'm, I'm in another a few, fantasy. I'm in a few leagues. I'm in a few leagues. What's this guy? What's wrong with this? Uh, Come on. So I sent. So I sent the record. Wait, is this a Yahoo league? No, it's ESPN. No, it's a Yahoo. <laughs> it's a Yahoo league. Yeah, yeah. It's a you Yahoo. Can't, no, Jeez, don't bring not. up a Yahoo. If you league. play fantasy on Yahoo. Just throw away your phone. Yeah. <laughs> Get a new one. Get a new phone. Get a new phone. Please. Download ESPN. Do yourself a favor. Make that, make, that a, make that a clip. Let's let's vote. Let's let's do a vote. Would you yeah. rather Yahoo Fantasy or ESPN? Yeah, we drop, don't want drop that it on in the platform. polls. Yahoo, I wanna, I wanna Yahoo Fantasy that. or I'm gonna ESPN. get crushed, but I don't care. I I love Yahoo. I've been on Yahoo since day one. Um. Anyways, my where I, was, where I was wrong was I predicted I predicted that the Giants were gonna get two wins this year. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. might have too. <laughs> <laughs> it looked awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought Daniel Jones would be I said on right. his way out after this season. But um, hey. they're all g- listen. They're all going to get paid, and nothing's going to happen. It, they're all going to collect dust, and that's just about it. I still, I don't think the Giants make it next year. If I were to, pick I could see right them now. taking a step back. Next yeah. Year. Um, but they're definitely building a good thing, and Dable's a good coach. Uh, all right. So unless you guys have anything else, oh, let's project. Let's pre- I, I can't Aaron say the word predict. Let's predict Aaron Rodgers next landing team. spot. Uh, say say three teams. I have mine. No, on three we go three, two, one. We all we say uh, what do we want wait, wait, wait. at once. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Jets. Jets. Raiders. <sighs> I came a little late. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Raiders are my second pick. Okay, so I come down to conclusion. I think it's Jets one. Titans two, Raiders three, because he's going to be in the AFC. And why are Titans? There. What made you say Titans? Vrabel, you got Derek Henry. You think Vrabel wants to deal with Aaron Rodgers? I don't. Dude, they have. They're they're also like another team in the NFL that's like, if you what just a, give them a good quarterback, like why can't they? What just about go what to are, the Super Bowl? What about the Saints? You can walk into the East. They don't want division. to trade him to the NFC. They already said AFC. Damn. And he's not going to like the Colts, like if you think yeah. or the Texans. So those are the three teams. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but I, we'll I see. see. We're probably going to be Jets. so wrong. He's probably going to go play for like an XFL team. Like <laughs> USFL or something. He's going to he, he, go play baseball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he tries to play baseball. That would be hilarious. Then someone just pegs him in the head. I'll get you his jersey. If someone just game. threw a fastball high and in on that guy. Just nailed him. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. <laughs> I had a great time. Uh, episode 24. That is a wrap. Thank you guys for having me back. It's been a of while. Of course. It's been a while. Back in the stew. And uh, make sure you follow us, Tipsy Tailgate Media, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Everywhere you watch a podcast, we're there. So check us out. Buy some merch. Bang. Uh, Anyone else got merch on? Monty hat, 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 hat. Buy the merch. And, uh, oh, oh, whoa. (laughs) It's fire, y'all. What? Where'd you get that?